Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to loop over a dictionary. Welcome to Make Sense. My name is Rick. Before we get started, please check out the other videos on our channel and like and subscribe. For this video, I'm going to use the example of a dictionary with IDs and objects. So the key is a credit ID, basically, and objects is then a uh, title and a release date so that's based on the credit id uh, we could use the credit stick to get information on a certain credit so what can we do with the for loop we can either iterate over the keys that looks like our basic for loop i'm gonna go over every item in this so we basically use the dictionary credit stick and we say for ID, which is the ID of every uh, credit in the dictionary in credit stick. And then within the for loop, we can use either the ID or we can also refer to the specific value that's linked to this ID by just calling on the credit stick inside of it and then we also get for instance the title of it and for the result then we can see that yes indeed we print for each and every uh, object key value pair in the credit stick we print the id and then we print the title what we can also do is we can just iterate over the values in a loop that looks like this in this case, we don't do anything with the IDs or the keys of the of the dictionary. We just use the values itself. I'm going to show you how you do that. So we use the dictionary again, grids underscore dict, but this time we use the values method on this. So while before, while we were looping over just credits underscore dict, it's uh, it shows us the IDs, but this time we get the actual value behind the key. And we can specify that here. We define a variable for the value for each and every key value pair in our dictionary. We call it credit. And then inside of the loop, we can use this credit to, for instance, get the title. And when we look at the print result, we see that, yes, we do have all the titles that are printed. Uh, but we can also, as the last thing, we can iterate over the items. So this is a key value pair that looks like this. In this case, uh, let's look at the code again. We use our dictionary, uh, but then instead of using nothing or the values, we use the items method credits underscore dict dot items which in our for loop gives us a tuple of both id which is the key and credits which is the value for each key value pair in our dictionary so we specify a variable for the key we specify a variable for the value in this case credits and then similarly to the previous one we can use id and credit so the key and the value inside of the loop and it looks like our previous loop but it looks a bit nicer this time because we don't have to do a separate uh, call for on the credit stick we just have our value immediately but it does print it out as well you can find the code for this example and others on our github i'll put a link in the description you can also check out the other videos on our channel. We are making a playlist with other videos like this on list operations, so you can check that one out. If you want to support us, you can buy us a coffee on buymecoffee.com. You can use our code for scripts or data quest. You can find the links in the description. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.